Hello and welcome to the video and um, so we're heading into preseason. This this is the first official day of, of play uh, of football <laughs> and everybody else starts next week so pretty hype time of the year you know pretty exciting uh, football starting so with that um, I got some news on the Chiefs so I'm, uh, I'm gonna be updating y'all uh, you know I'm just gonna be going over the week I mean not I mean yeah pretty much the week and just breaking down some stuff so uh, firstly we're gonna start off with the uh, Nick Foles pickup you know I think that it was a it was a good decision you know I mean uh, <laughs> I think he fits in well in the scheme and just like the whole Andy Reid situation I think he likes them uh, they both have mutual respect for each other, so I, I also think that there's a big potential for him after Smith leaves if he stays for that long, <laughs> and if Smith does go down after like during this season, I think that uh, Foles will be um, well equipped to go in and you know do as well as Alex Smith would do, and I think that he has a good chance, you know, with these young and fresh wide receivers. You know, I mean. I'm going to be talking about that later, but, you know, I mean, the receiving core, well, I'm going to be talking about that right now, but <laughs> hold on. Real quick, I just want to say that we have five QBs right now, so someone, someone's maybe getting cut uh, after the preseason. Uh, we have a lot of depth just everywhere, you know, uh, a lot of running backs, a lot of, ins like, a lot of linebackers, D linemen. I'm going to be interested in who we keep and who we drop, um, but... They are planning on using Foles in this next week matchup against the Seahawks, so we'll see how that goes. But the receiving core, uh, you know, we have, like, we picked up a few uh, really good, like, these past two years, we picked up some really good wide receivers. I really like them a lot, you know. I mean, they're really developing, especially Chris Conley. He's been getting some playing time and with the first team. Uh, you know, Tyreek Hill, uh, he's he's good he's been beating Marcus Peters on some of these pass plays you know so uh, really good time you know um, and then you have Albert Wilson he's actually hurt uh, right now I mean not I don't know how serious it is it's just a calf injury he's still practicing a little bit not like pads or anything so uh, we'll see how that goes and I mean so I'm pretty I'm happy to see how our pass game improves this year um, continuing on, I'm really looking forward to seeing see some of these young guys, you know, battles, um, you know, at the linebacker spots, at the running back spots, wide receiver spots. I'm really excited to see who comes up and proves themselves, you know, even at the safety, uh, like the defensive back spots. We really just have a lot of depth overall around uh, the whole team, and it's it's really young, you know. I mean, we have a lot of veteran people. But, I, I mean, I'm kind of surprised with how much depth we actually have. So, I'm really excited. I'm really um, happy to see how everything works out. And, yeah, just some injuries. I mean, Jamal Charles, I don't know how he's doing. Uh, but we also have uh, Nile Davis. He has a shoulder injury. Josh Maga, Nunez Rokas, uh, Tom Hawley, and Justin, who aren't practicing. I mean, of course, Justin Houston. But that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll be... Uh, keeping you guys posted on this stuff probably every week. So, see you guys. Bye.